Bobby's story, I just felt like compelled to write that song. And I'm just going to tell you this because I'm really proud of it, but on my, um, I put it on my last record, and it's not me on concertina, I'm lucky enough to be joined by the Brighouse and Rastrick brass band, you know, what work with the young Franks and a floral dance fame. And uh, it, it, they just, the military weight that they can add to it just took that song so far than I ever could attain it. So it's on the album if you'd like to hear it in its fullest sense. Um, but you can also find it on YouTube if you don't want to buy an album. And um, I just, yeah, it, it's there if you'd like to find out more about it. Uh, right then. It's lovely coming back to a place that you've been to so regularly, you know, because I had like three re requests and it's made me feel practically like Beyonce. Like, you know, that never, ever happens. I'm well sure. So this is another one of them. But, um, but it's a song that has um, haunted me in the best ways um, since I wrote it um, back in 2010. And um, it's another true story. I like true stories. And um, this time of a young woman... Uh, living in Derbyshire, in a village called Little Eaton, in, in uh, 1905. And she was a woman with guts. People of folk and all. A woman with guts. And uh, usually in folk songs, um, women are getting killed or... Um, no, that's about it. That's all you can hope for a female protagonist in a folk song. So, uh, so this is the story of... Uh, Another, another. This is Alice in the Bacon Box. My name was for Alice Grace, the flower of my town. Old boys used to turn and stare, and they still do that now. I once had a lover, and he was strong and kind and true. Or at least I thought he was, but he was all I knew. He was all I knew. He was all I knew. That's your day. He was all I knew. Oh, 